Hi Pisces! It is Friday, March 29th, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you today, Pisces. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? All right, Pisces, let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your energy. Okay, so the very first card you have is you have the Ace of Pentacles. And then you have Death, Scorpio energy. You have the Page of Cups. And you have a tower showing up already here in your energy. So this is an explosion. And then you have the Seven of Wands in the center of your reading. You have the Ace of Cups. The Hermit Virgo energy. And then you have the Five of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Wands. And you have the Seven of Swords. So let's clarify this, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, so you have the Magician. There's something new showing up in your energy that you're actually manifesting, Pisces. This, this thing. You may not even realize you're manifesting it. I keep seeing this for you guys. It's like the Nine of Pentacles. This is a single energy okay and then you, i have you here standing by the shore waiting for a ship to come in waiting for whatever you're manifesting because you are the magician here you're trying to make something new happen well it's happening right there with the ace of pentacles so some of you are standing in the position here where you're waiting for it to happen but it's something that you're making happen with the magician. Some of you have already done this. The, the timeline may be a little bit different. But there's a single energy here. There's you holding on to your coins. What is yours holding it close to your chest? And it's something where you're like, no, this is important to me. Okay. The next card you have is death. Scorpio energy. You have the moon here. This is Pisces Cancer energy. So you may have some cancer in your chart. But whatever that energy is, whatever that manifestation is there, Pisces, um, it's kind of, you're kind of feeling in the dark here because it's going to change things. And with death being here this is a major arcana so it's going to change things in a huge significant way and so you're kind of unsure about the decision that you're making here for yourself but it's something that you really want it's some type of move um someone's literally moving you're unsure of this move, though. The Two of Swords is here. 
So you could be overthinking it. Um, you could be feeling some sadness here because whatever this move is that you're making, I feel like there's someone else in your energy that may not approve or you don't want to tell them. Tell me why the Page of Cups is here. You have Nine of Wands. I'm seeing you receiving a message from someone. Aquarius energy is here with the star. Um, someone's going to send you a message, Pisces, and this person is showing up as the wounded warrior. This is the page of wands. Um, this person's going to tell you, you know, about something of pain. You have the three of swords here. No, spirits are telling me I'm... Something here. Yeah, there's, there's something here that you feel like it's falling apart. All right? And this is you. I was wrong. This is you. The Three of Swords energy is here. This is you. This is you feeling pain and heartbreak. Because there's some someone here in your energy where you don't want to give up on them. Um, you're in this energy of you're releasing this person, but you're feeling vulnerable about it. The Three of Swords is here. It's causing you a great deal of heartbreak. Whoever this person is, this is someone that you wanted to walk beside you. This is someone that you wanted to share everything with. This is not someone that you wanted to hide anything from. And yet you find yourself doing that because this person is deceiving you in some way. And you really can't deceive Pisces. Pisces is very psychic. This person it thinks they're deceiving you in some way you can feel it you're not exactly sure what it is but you know something's off about this person but something here is about ready to break apart and fall apart with this tower Let me grab a different deck to clarify this tower I feel like you could be telling someone. Um, I'm seeing you sending some type of message here where you're saying, I, I really need to stick up for myself. I need to do what's best for me. Because at this point in time, you have been trying and trying and trying to do it this other person's way. And things are just not working out here because they, they have a secret. They're keeping something from you. Which we're going to clarify right there. Seven of Swords. They're not being honest. Tell me why the tower is here. The tower is something that you're not expecting coming into your energy. Something happening. Something shocking. You have Two of Swords. There's, there's a truth that you didn't want to think about that you put in the back of your mind. You didn't want to look at it. You blindfolded yourself to it. You didn't want to think about it. You wanted to focus on something else. And when you're in this position where you're not making a decision, one will be made for you. Not making a decision is making a decision. You could even feel like um, you don't want to talk to this person because you're thinking about yourself here. Now you have to. You have to. Or, you know, you could get very, very angry at this person because you know that this person's doing something behind your back.
Well, you're about ready to find something out here, Pisces. Something is going to be shown to you. And it has to do with some type of a betrayal, okay? You have the Ten of Swords here, and you have the Nine of Swords. So there's something here that you were worried about that you were closed off. You weren't making a decision, even though there could have been a lot of arguments that went forth back and forth between the two of you this could have gone on for quite some time this energy it keeps you up late at night having a hard time sleeping um these swords are being put in your back you're not there to witness them the person on this card is laying face down the swords are in their back so Whatever is going to be revealed to you at this tower, it's going to make you become very defensive here. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. This is a betrayal. I'm seeing you receiving messages from someone, from some type of a third party here that has to do with a lie, that has to do with... You know, you finding out the truth, but you're going to find out the truth by the way of a third party. And it's going to make you feel very defensive here and it's going to shock you. Tell me why the Seven of Wands is here. The Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and you have the Nine of Cups. You got someone new coming into your life too, Pisces, and I feel like we've been pulling that up lately too. But um, I'm seeing you defending. There's something here that you, you could have felt like this was selfish if I take this, but it's not. It's meant for you. It's yours. And um, it's something that you've been up in your head about. You know, like you're overthinking something and it has to do with you walking away from these eight cups from the position that you're in right now with someone where you, this is a position where you're not happy. Your needs are not being met. Someone here is being deceiving. You can tell and you're pushing back at this point. And I'm seeing you like you're here saying... I'm done, you know, I'm done with all of it. Let the tower fall. Whatever the structure is that you built with this person, it's like, let it fall. I'm walking towards the new. And you can literally see you in this card walking towards this Ace of Cups. So this is either blessings or new love, something here. Tell me why the Ace of Cups is here. And I do see a new love that shows up here in your future. There's the Knight of Cups. The Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords. <coughs> Seven of Swords is showing up twice. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why am I hearing what's good for the goose is good for the gander? Someone here is coming into your life. There's something here that's coming to an end. Someone that you've been building a structure with. There's a third party here. It's like you're letting go. You're letting it end. And it feels very painful to me. But there's someone new riding in. This Knight of Wands. This person is younger than you. You know what? You have someone new coming in. But this is the exact same energy. I'm just realizing that's over here. The Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Who is this disgusting person? It's like you're coming towards this person with love. 
you're coming towards this person with a new plan okay things aren't working out right let's 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 do things this way you're giving to this person and you don't have any proof of what they're doing you can feel it um but it's still it's hard for you to walk away from you don't have a picture you don't have a photograph you don't have anyone anything to show this person tell me more about this new love that's coming into Pisces life tell me who this new person is that's showing up this new person that's coming into your life Pisces this is your ten of pentacles this spirits are telling you to look at the bigger picture you're sacrificing yourself here this is Pisces energy the hanged man you're sacrificing yourself to this person that is not being honest that is deceiving you and you you're going to have a new person show up in your life and this person will be here for the long run like for the rest of your life whoever this person is but you're being asked here to look at the bigger picture is this really your happily ever after with this person it's a karmic wheel it's a karmic cycle where this person keeps being inconsistent they cannot keep their word tell me why the hermit is here you're unhappy the four of cups is on the bottom of the deck and the five of swords is here it's like you're having an epiphany moment, a realization here that I need to make a decision. You know, that a decision needs to be made. And you're looking deep within yourself here in the energy of the hermit. It's like you're separating yourself from this energy. Um, and giving yourself time to think and to make a decision. Because all of this is very confusing to you all right because you know something's strange something's off but you're you're not sure exactly what it is but you have this cycle coming to a close with the world showing up here I want to see something because I see a second energy, a second person here that's going to be here for the long term. Tell me why judgment is here. But it's like right now you're in a state of where there's, there's a lot of confusion in your energy. Seeing you seeing the truth, you know. Something's going to be revealed to you and you're going to see the truth. And I'm seeing that there's an argument or a fight breaks out here that has happened before in the past and this time it's like I know where this is going I'm just not even going to talk about it I'm just going to walk away from you you got the same fight showing up right here the five of swords showing up again tell me why the five of swords is here Tell me who this Queen of Wands is. Who is the Queen of Wands? This Queen of Wands that showed up right here. This is someone that... Um, there's going to be an argument that takes place about this person. Um, this person it's someone who's standing at a crossroads here trying to make a decision 
they keep going back and forth in their mind about it. And I don't know who this person is to you. Let me see something else, Pisces, before I speak. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Justice, Libra energy. There's someone here who looks up to you. You know, they, they look up to you for you to make everything fair and everything right, Pisces. This is someone that you have unconditional love for. This person, they are... Um, you know, this could be an older child or someone, but there's there's someone here that's getting impatient because something keeps happening over and over again and it's like you're trying to create justice for this person. And um, whoever you're dealing with here, this deceiving energy, they are so inconsistent that... And they're running around doing something here that they don't want you to know about that it affects this other person in some way that's in your energy. This child or someone significant to you. Whatever this person's doing over here, whatever they're running around doing, it's affecting someone else in your life. Tell me why the Eight of Wands is here. Cancer energy is here again. Strength, Leo energy. This is a tough, tough judgment call. It's tough. You have strength and judgment again. A decision needing to be made. And it is tough. And it has to do with letting go. Aries energy is here, the fool. It feels risky to you to let this go. Because this person, this could be a marriage. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. And you have the Chariot. And you have the Ten of Swords. Something is coming towards you really, really, really fast. A lot of messages here that I'm seeing you receiving from a family member, more than likely, about a betrayal. I see it again here, like you receiving some type of messages about what is actually happening over here with this person. Tell me why this Knight of Wands is here. This person, they might be a different nationality than you. You have the world showing up here. But there's a cycle, I can see it again here, that's coming to an end. It's like you, you love this person. But you're going to receive a tough message here. You have strength showing up next to this messenger. Like a very, very difficult message about some type of information here. I mean, this person, they might be doing something online. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is, what are they lying about? Let's get to the nitty gritty of the situation. Let's find out what they're doing. They're telling you they're working. Yeah, they're working all right. They're working. You can see them working right here. There's a project or something that they're working on, but they're juggling, okay? They're juggling. They got something else going on too. So there's like a part truth here. 
and you have waited for this justice, for this truth to show up, for quite some time now. This is Libra energy justice. But you have been investing your time, your money, your energy with this person. And it's time for you to see the truth. And justice is bringing in the truth, the light. Karma is kind of, Whatever this energy is, the truth is going to come out, Pisces. And... Stay here with me just for another, for a little bit. I want to clarify the Seven of Swords with everything else off the table. I want to be as specifically clear as I can as to what this betrayal is because this looks very painful to me. It's an energy that I can feel, you feel it. More than likely there's an age difference between you and this person. They may be younger for some of you. You can feel it. You can feel these swords going into your back one at a time. And you can feel that they're trying to get away with something. See how they're looking back? But they leave clues behind. Spirits, tell me about the Ten of Swords. There's the Lovers, the Six of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Four of Swords. You have Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. This is someone, there's a third party here, and this third party is someone that they know. Someone, not all of you, but someone here is involved with someone that's married. Or a past, a past energy is showing up here. Tell me why the Four of Swords is here. There could be children. This is, this is something where it didn't make them happy. There's someone here that that your person they already know this person already is someone that they have history with someone that could have walked away from them someone that they could have children with um they could be talking to this person like online tell me why the seven of swords is here family ten of pentacles and look at that the queen of queen of wands showing up again this Queen of Wands could be a Cancer, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person's broke. This person needs their help. And whoever they are, this, this person in your energy is um, sacrificing something that belongs to you to give to this third party. And that's what I don't like. It's coming to an end. Death is showing up again. See, something where you feel like the wounded warrior, you don't want to give up because this is going to hurt. It's going to be painful and you feel like it's going to leave you feeling vulnerable here. Aquarius energy again. But the truth is going to come out. But Gemini energy is there with the lovers. I'm not sure if I told you guys that. Let me get um, some messages here. All 
right, let's start with Aries. What does Aries wish to say to Pisces? Aries, you're so easy to see through. Leo, I left you before you could leave me. Sagittarius, you speak to me through music and I will wait for a sign from you. Aquarius, I bury myself in work to forget you. Libra, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Gemini, sometimes I hear your voice. Taurus, just being near you is intoxicating. Virgo, I wish I could take back my words. Capricorn, my life is not as together as it seems. Pisces, I wish you would come back. I never used to look at you in that way. Cancer, I've been struggling. Scorpio, so many things remind me of you. All right, Pisces, let me get your Moonology cards for advice. Advice for Pisces. Ooh, I felt that. A lot of energy. Pisces, know your worth. New moon in Taurus. And full moon in Libra. Libra. Find a balance. And on the bottom of the deck... You have last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less, feel more. All right, Pisces. Um, the lights just flickered. I'm sure you guys saw that. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe. And um, for sending me all of the love through the comment section. There's a scammer in the comment section. The scammer has my photo, the familiar witch photo. And so it looks like it's me. It's not me. If you have someone that has my photo, like it's a comment from me asking you for money, asking you um, to go to a website or something that's not me you guys that is a scammer the only thing i i would never lead you in the comment section to go to another website ask you for money um no it's not me i wouldn't do that the only thing i will do is i'll leave you guys a heart I'll leave you a little comment. It's not going to be anything weird like what the one I saw today. It said, hi, darling, or something like that, and go to this other website. It's not me, you guys. Do not fall for that, okay? I don't ask you for money in the comment sections. I don't ask you for money. Um, but... I love you guys and I appreciate you so much for being here with me and um, make sure you take care of you and the main energy in your reading today is exactly that to take care of you and to focus on you because you have a flake around you right now do not worry about this flake um do what's best for you and concentrate on you okay because it's that's the way it needs to be is you need to focus on yourself right now all right pisces i know how loving and giving you are um and kind you are but right now is the time to focus on you 
I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And um, we'll meet back here again tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.